This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better road planner, Camp Power, and Bill Component. Working? Yo, what's up, guys? For this day today, I've been waiting more than for Christmas because today we are gonna finally take down the uh, Mercedes EQC battery and hopefully the car will drive out the same day. Fingers crossed. Let's go. got a battery on the ground it's really a huge battery but um, the in the, uh, not interesting but the reason why the battery is so wide is because Mercedes has used a lot of support brackets I think it goes all the way until here and just here model starts all the way all, all this here is just for safety so there was a lot of bolts uh, short long so there was a lot of plastics here is front traction which is connecting uh, low voltage for battery control rear drive unit and this is come from the charging port so I have already opened uh, the battery and um, what I found is very interesting I, I'm not sure if you see it well but for some reason there is like a marks of short circuit on uh, between the toes contacts uh, but I couldn't find anything what's lying down there and anything what could cause uh, like sparks over there and the other uh, very interesting thing is that uh, this fuse is blown it's uh, 500 uh, volt uh, I cannot see how many amps this uses but um, yeah it's very strange that it's blown away and of course I thought uh, yeah, yeah then the rear drive unit is uh, in short circuit but uh, we measured there is no short circuit no low isolation uh, no low isolation or uh, short circuit in the front uh, traction cables so very interesting we have the same fuse, uh, or not the same, but uh, very light fuse uh, for the front uh, traction. But this one is okay. Um, so really, uh, I don't know how stupid idea is, but uh, I'm almost uh, want to just replace the fuse and connect the battery back to the car and see what will happen. I think we should do that. But in our uh, used part storage, I find uh, something uh, uh, very uh, close to this. I mean, it's a lower amperage, but uh, still 500 uh, volts. And I'm wondering to give a try just to see if the wheels will spin in the air and uh, how the car will behave. 
I even don't know from uh, which uh, car this uh, this part is. Um, no, I have no clue where this was coming from. So let's try. Let's see what kind of faults. Yeah, suspension is not happy because the car is lifted. Active and uh, has malfunction operation conditions. Internal part low. But uh, Nothing happens. <sighs> oh shit. I want to show you another Mercedes battery that we haven't opened uh, until now. Uh, it's hybrid Mercedes and Tesla, as everybody knows. A lot of Tesla logos. Uh, Tesla contactors, uh, Tesla modules, but they are like shorter and a little bit uh, different uh, uh, construction. Uh, Tesla fuse and even uh, a BMS. Yeah, and uh, exactly this car has. Uh, troubles with uh, first of all it has some problems with uh, um, power supply to uh, contactors and uh, when this was uh, fixed uh, now I have a fault uh, with uh, H-wheel or like I don't know if everyone knows it's like security loop uh, so it seems that uh, BMS is um, sending the signal but uh, it's not coming back and the loop is in the car is okay but uh, something with maybe measurement or something with the uh, BMS itself and for the end of the day we have uh, inside the Fisker Karma battery the car was drivable was um, possible to drive on electric mode but it was not taking charge and what we found that uh, the charger contactors was burned.